The cross-examination provided recordings, documents, and photographic evidence that Larry Householder's testimony may not have been the most accurate. Any concerns about cross-examination today? No. Former Ohio House Speaker Larry Householder acted confident going into cross-examination today, but his attorney wasn't. Concerns about cross-examination today? Criminal law professor Michael Benza says the defense was right to be worried. Assistant U.S. Attorney Emily Gladfelter came prepared with recordings, receipts, and contradictory statements just made in trial. It's probably going as well for the prosecution as they could have hoped. In his testimony, Householder denied knowing about Generation Now funds, denied his involvement in creating ads against the House Bill 6 referenda, and denied he would threaten people who didn't support him. Other witnesses have said differently. It's fine. Well, I know I'm telling the truth. That's what I know. Gladfelter also disagreed, going point by point through the former speaker's testimony, poking holes, and even getting him to admit some of the major details he testified were inaccurate. He can be heard on recording recordings talking about Generation Now funds in dollar amounts and in text giving script edits on ads. Then a recording played of householders suggesting to threaten lawmakers who didn't support him, saying, quote, if you're going to F with me, I'm going to F with your kids, end quote. After the evidence was shown, Householder conceded and admitted that it's possible he did know all of this information. All of this will go to his credibility. That will be a very difficult thing for the defense to deal with. And after today, Matt Borges has decided that he will not be testifying. In Cincinnati at the federal courthouse, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.